Hey everyone, this is Wade from FlowTube Fanatics and FishFinderMounts.com. You can call us at 1-855-784-3474 to get your perfect fish finder mounting solution for your uh, small fishing watercraft today. Inflatables, kayaks, aluminum boats, fiberglass boats, wood boats, whatever it may be, we've probably got a solution for you. Our fish finders make all fish finders portable and they go on a lot of different boats and uh, they're universal also for your fish finders. So buy your fish or buy your mount from us today buy a fish finder later because our fish finders are um, universal and you can mount a whole pile of different fish finders on our mounting plates here you can see they're pre-drilled and stuff there you see it so um, actually what I wanted to do today is we have um, a, we just got our helix 5 fish finder we're going to be going to a couple trade shows here shortly and uh, we're excited about this and we're actually going to be displaying this at our trade show and I'm going to do an unboxing here for everybody. I've actually cut the, the only thing I've done is cut the tape that was sealing the box just so it's ready to go for the show here. Um, so let's just get right into it. We've got the Helix 5 DI um, HD. So it's an HD color display, down imaging sonar. And uh, you know, it says that it's got uh, intuitive operation you know that's one of the things that I haven't been super happy with with the lower end hummingbird fish finders is that they're clunky in their in terms of their uh, menu um, navigation and, and moving around so uh, it looks like it records temperature and uh, you know it's got a really nice display and so on and so forth but it looks like a really cool unit right here in the back um, <clears throat> I've got the Lawrence Elite 5X, which is a 5X screen, I believe, measured diagonally. So this is, I think, Elite or a Helix 5. I think it's five inches right from side to side. So let's open it up and have a look at that. Um, the Helix 5 DI from Hummingbird. So we'll pop this open and see how she looks in there. So they've got a nice paper pocket. Looks like there's nothing else in the box when we open that up. So we'll put that, actually maybe we'll just put that right up here. And uh, it's got some user manual uh, material here and instructions. And let's pull out the actual head control head unit itself. So I bought this, or the company bought this, fishfindermounts.com bought this fish finder off of Bass Pro uh, shops um, on, online and actually we got this unit for $249.99 uh, USD. So just so you know, if you're looking for um, pricing, that's the price we paid for this unit. And uh, we'll just put it, if the camera could come in close and have a look at this next to the 5 inch Elite 5X. Um, we'll pull the covering, the protective covering off here so everybody can get a really good look at it. And yes indeed, the screen is longer by, uh, I'd say a good half an inch this way, but definitely shallower by half an inch this way. So yeah, they have arranged it in that fashion. And uh, this actual fish finder has a mounting post where you're mounting to one point. Whereas this one, when you look at the picture and everything, um, it has an actual sort of a gimbal bracket, a small gimbal bracket the way it's designed it looks like, which would go on the back here. So we're going to get into that. Let's move this out of our way. We'll pull out the gimbal bracket. Here we go. And here is the Hummingbird gimbal bracket. Now, one of the good reasons why we bought this fish finder is also to record in our library for mounting holes on our mounting plates. We have a couple customers asking about this already, uh, people that are buying this finder, um, and they want to know that we've got the actual holes pre-drilled for them. Um, so now that we have this, we will actually have the holes on this plate um, marked and drilled and then put into our machine program so that from now on you're going to get the perfect hole arrangement for this fish finder on our mounting plates. 
so there you have the nice gimbal bracket here. It looks like it, it looks like a nice little product the way they've done it, molded it. Um, and then let's have a look at the other components. We've got an HDI transducer. Wow, that's a very large transducer actually. But our transducer mount will accommodate that. So here is our magnetic transducer mount. This is our 15 millimeter magnetic transducer mount. This is how you're going to get it. You're going to get the assembly instructions. And we'll just pull out our magnetic transducer mount assembly here. And so you can, sh you can see there's actually an extension that comes with it as well. So this is the root arm. Let's move this out of the way. This is the root arm, and it's universal again, so it'll work with this transducer, no problem. Um, here's the extension arm. So you would just take this um, and open it up. It's like an aperture here. We call this this piece the fork, the fork washer here. We just slide that off. It's got some tracks in it so that it stays, you know, nice and straight when you're mounting it back together and you would just fit that on there and um, you take your fork washer and if the video, I hope the, the camera is getting a good close shot of this, you just slip that over top there goes together nicely, take your wing nut, fasten that back on right there And then you would take your transducer, magnetic transducer mount portion of it. And if this was going to go in your transom, you'd mount it this way. If you wanted it on the side of your boat, you would mount it this way. So we'll just put it in the uh, transom position for now. But what, I, what I'm showing you here is that the transducer is quite large. It's obviously doing the down scan imaging. Um, work and it's also doing the traditional sonar scan as well so it's scanning at different frequencies to give you simultaneously the down scan imaging which creates like a photo of the bottom of the you know the lake or sea or wherever you're fishing the body of water that you're fishing in and then of course the traditional sonar as well so you can actually verify what's going on uh, with the traditional sonar with your uh, down scan imaging and, and vice versa your, your down imaging as hummingbird calls it um, you've got some various brackets here for transom mounting your transducer you can see here is their transom set up here so you if you want to drill holes in your boat this this allows you our product here our magnetic transducer mount allows you to mount, mount your transducer on your boat either on the side of your hull or your transom of your boat without having to drill holes in your boat whatsoever. Um, it's a non-permanent mount so you can move it around from boat to boat if you have multiple boats, kayaks, canoes, whatever they may be. And there's a piece of rubber, it looks like for cable retention here. And your various mounting screws, they're all stainless steel that come with these. And then for the gimbal bracket you get your two um, thumb knobs. You put that aside and let's put the control head onto the gimbal mount. So you take it and uh, once you've got it, it's got a lot of serrated little teeth on it like Hummingbird typically has and a lot of the other guys do the same thing, the other manufacturers and we just take the thumb knob and just twist it on like so. So there you have it. We've got that on there. Now of course when you want to adjust that you would loosen it off and you would um, actually have to loosen it off considerably probably. So maybe this design, I'm not sure I like this design that much for this reason. So yeah, you have to loosen it off pretty quite a bit. We'll loosen it off quite a lot that way. And then uh, <clears throat> you all, you have not only your transducer cable and cord, but you also have your power cable here. It looks like they've got a little cap on it when you open it up. We'll just take that off. And uh, here you have the positive and negative wires that you would, if you were using our battery, which we have, 
right here from fishfindermounts.com again. Um, you would take this and you would actually take some of the cable crimps that we supply with our products. You will want to actually um, strip off the outer jacketing here. And we want to make sure that we can get it to the battery the right distance. So right now it's too short. So we're just going to widen it up more. So we only want to strip it off, strip it off a little bit. I actually made a mistake when I was originally doing this. So if you do it right, you won't have to do this part of it. But you just only want maybe a quarter inch of length stripped. And this terminal, uh, if you bought our 5 amp hour or 10 amp hour product, you should have fairly thick terminals here. So we're going to provide you with the thicker spade or uh, fast on crimp connect terminals here that just nicely slide right over top of the battery posts. So we will just take this and if you are in a pinch, excuse the pun, um, you could use, most pliers come with a back portion that is good for squishing things. If you don't have a pro, like a really, uh, you know, like a, a unique specific tool for crimping this type of connector, this will also work for you. It's maybe not super, super nice looking, but it does the trick well. And squish that down nice and hard. And then we'll do this one as well. So you guys can see what, what this looks like when it's powered up. Squish that on there as well. Just connect it up to power. So of course you take your your red to your red terminal or your positive terminal. So we'll take that and we'll put it on there. And here we have the Hummingbird Helix 5 and we're going to power that up. See what that looks like. So here you can see a demo happening right now of the actual down scan imaging or down imaging. And then here is the two sonars together, the traditional and then the down imaging together. So that's pretty cool. It looks really nice actually. Um, if I hit exit, it looks like we can scroll around to the different modes that the product has. So you can kind of go through the different modes. Looks like View does the same thing. And then you can scroll around and have a look at everything. So anyways, that's what I really wanted to show you guys, what's in the package. You can see it comes with your transducer. It was $249.99. We bought this uh, Helix uh, 5DI from Bass Pro Shops for that price. And um, we are going to take the gimbal bracket mounting po po uh, points here, there's four of them, and we're going to put onto our uh, mounting plates. Um, we have the Elite 5 X HDI mounted on the same plate that you see here. Um, so we'll have that, so we'll recommend, it looks like this, this is more than sufficient for mounting this fish finder on. So that's, that's fantastic for customers and for uh, fishermen, all of our fishermen friend out there, friends out there. And uh, this is Wade from Fish Finder Mounts and Float Tube Fanatics. You can call us at 1-855-784-3474 to get your perfect Fish Finder mounting solution today. And again, just in summary, you get a nice transducer that does both the down scan imaging and the traditional sonar. You get the nice control head that is horizontally five inches across this way and uh, shallower than you know an Elite 5X this way by about a half an inch. So I think it's a cool arrangement what they've done is just taken it and, and moved it uh, into sort of a widescreen format and uh, then you get a few pieces for uh, doing a transom mount with your transducer. This is a fairly large transducer so you're going to want to order our 15 millimeter magnetic transducer mount uh, with this one because there's going to be more drag being that it is larger. So thanks for watching everyone.